Hey there, we have created a guest list template to ensure that importing your contacts into Greenvelope will go smoothly. When you are finished designing your card, you will be taken to the send step to start building your guest list. If you choose to upload your contacts from a spreadsheet such as Excel, we recommend downloading our template, which can be found by selecting to upload contacts and then clicking on this link. There are three different types of contact scenarios that can be accommodated in the spreadsheet. First, a single contact, second, a single contact that is allowed to bring a guest, and third, a couple or family. We will review each scenario in detail, but the important thing to remember is that each contact scenario should only use one row in the spreadsheet. Scenario 1. Invite a single contact. If you want to invite a single one person without a date, you would enter their email address in column A, the guest's first name in column B, and their last name in column C. These three fields are required for every contact listed and make up the primary contact information. Scenario two, invite a single contact that is allowed to bring a guest. Now, if you would like to invite a contact that is allowed to bring a guest, you will want to utilize the plus one feature. To do so within the template, you would enter your guest's email, first name, and last name respectively into columns A, B, and C. To indicate that this guest can bring an additional guest, enter the number of guests that they can bring in column D. Column D should not be used for couples or families, as we will discuss how to accommodate this in the next scenario. Scenario three, invite a couple or family. If you would like to invite a couple or a family where all members are included in the same invitation, you should link these members to the main primary contact for the family. Linking family members together will allow you to collect specific RSVP information for each member of the couple or family. First, fill in columns A, B, and C with the email address, first name, and last name of the primary member of the family. Then, add each additional family member to an adjacent cell starting on column G. If you know email addresses for the other members and would also like them to be emailed the invite, you can include their email addresses in column G after their name in caret brackets, as displayed here. Please keep in mind that an email address is not required for the additional family members. An optional field for a couple or family is a couple or family greeting, for example, the Smiths or Jack and Jill, which you would enter in column F. If this field is utilized, it will then appear on the front of the envelope. One last thing. Don't forget that in order to group couples and families together within the Excel template, it is super important to keep all members of the group on the same row, since all contacts on that row will be linked to the same invitation. Hopefully, this will help you set up your Excel file in order to accommodate your specific needs. If you have any other questions, we're here to help through our live chat and full-time support center.